Okay, as promised, here we are, right slap bang, probably in the middle of day one of the dragon's back. That's Trivan. There, I'm heading in the opposite direction, up Penamore when. And we're gonna do some stuff around there, just get my mountain legs back. Here are the famous, or some of the famous ponies. So, uh, yeah, if you come into the Ogwen Valley, you will more than likely see those guys and girls, I don't know. Not too up on my uh, pony gender, unfortunately. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm out mid-morning till mid-afternoon, so a good four hours. And with no specific goal today, apart from getting some elevation on specific terrain again. So I'm not really looking at the lines of day one yet. I'm coming back up in a few weeks to do that, although I know it pretty well. Today is just about, like I say, getting on the terrain, getting a feel for that again. It's going to be warm, so that's always good to get out in the heat, just in case. Work a little bit harder, and yeah, had a good session yesterday. Two hours, good moderate effort on runnable trails, so my legs are feeling that a little bit, and that is training. So in case you don't see Ogwen Valley in the sunshine, when you come to the Dragon's Back, you can see it today with me instead. Right, we're off up. Penirol Wen, Penirol Wen. Uh, and we'll catch you up there. So the summit of Penirol Wen is literally just up and over there, but I thought I'd stop here because if you are on the dragon's back and you're coming down this, you think, oh great, it's a nice long downhill. But it is, it's pretty technical if you're not used to Snowdonia. And that there, hopefully you can see it, that is Trivan. So let's have a go. So yeah, that's Trivan, and that's what you're going to be dropping down into the valley and going up back over after you hit the checkpoint into the glitters. So, all I can say is, save as much energy as you can coming down here. It's not the fastest descent because you'll hit some rocky bits. Very low kind of grade down climber for about 10 meters. Just take it easy, take some fuel on. At the bottom, you're gonna have that checkpoint restock because getting up and over Trivan there is a beast if you're not feeling great, which I experienced myself in 2019. So I was running well within the top five and uh, yeah, hit Trivan and just got hit with a headache, nausea, dizziness, and it pretty much ruined the rest of that day one. So whether that was because I ran too hard, I was trying to play to my strengths running downhill, um, whether it was because it was a warm day, I don't know. But what I do know is I want to hit Trivan in better shape this year. So yeah, this is Penny well then. So I'm just going to show you probably the tricky bit of the Penrill Wen descent. So it is a bit tricky coming off the summit. You have to really keep your eye on where you put your feet and all that kind of stuff. So just take it easy, especially if you're not used to this kind of terrain. And then you'll get hit with this little bit. So hopefully you can still hear me, but yeah. So I'm taking it very easy down here, mainly due to the camera being brand new and pretty expensive. <laughs> and I'll pack it away in a minute, but yeah, you can see you've already done quite a few hours. Hopefully you've been taking on your energy. I've been hitting up to three gels an hour, which is 60 grams an hour, which is 80 calories in each one, If you each gel, if you want to talk about calories. Then I've got these, I've got a litre of water mixed with um, active root, which again is a carb mix. One quite high, uh, what would you call it? Density, that's not the right word, someone will correct me. But yeah, higher consistency, uh, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, one's got a lot of active root in, one has got a tiny amount. So good electrolytes, good energy, ginger, uh, 
helps me settle my stomach, might help you. But yeah, this is the point like I was putting before. I'm on my way back down now, down the valley. So it's easy to show you the little bits of just hopping down the rocks and kind of putting your hands on the rocks and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, lots of fun if you're taking it easy. If you've got a chance to recce this section from the Ogwen Valley, then I would definitely do so, even if you take yourself out for, you know, a nice climb up, hour and a bit up to the top and climb back down, just so you're aware of it before you get to the base of Trivan and that first checkpoint. It will put you in good stead for the day. If you can't make it for a recce, then it looks like this. So this is the path out of the checkpoint up to Trevan, which is pretty steep and it gets steeper and steeper then you hit the boulders and then you know you're near the top so I'll show you some of the boulders when we get up there So that one is Penimal when that you've just come down, or that you will have just come down. Just remember. I mean, I don't think people should be struggling necessarily to hit that cutoff. It's the first cutoff. So <clears throat> just make sure that that is in your capabilities, really, down to Ogwen Car Park, because you don't want to be cut off on day one and make it an expensive day. We're nine weeks out from the Dragon's Back now and although like I touched on in the last video it might seem like quite a short amount of time to start training for it again I've been in these hills for many years now and yeah it's exciting to go and do the sixth day and hopefully have my legs held, hold together for the whole time not pick up an injury so yeah this week has been a bit higher volume I had a tougher session yesterday did what did I do two hours at like a moderate effort in the trails by my house but that had about 500 meters worth of climb so it was quite a hard effort and then I wanted to follow that up by plenty of hiking today but on rocky ground which you've probably seen so any rocky path that I could have took I've taken today just to get my eye in again day one in particular has lots of rough ground day two as well so that's kind of my thinking behind that just get that specificity done early on and then uh, yeah I've got some reccees coming up it's Friday and I've put away about 100 kilometers give or take this week so tomorrow will be an easier day and uh, Sunday I'm off to splash landings with the kids so it'll be a flat run down at Alton Towers <laughs> but you've got to squeeze this training in when you can I felt okay on the hills, I could feel a bit of tiredness in my legs to begin with. I've lost my sunglasses and that kind of that's annoying, I, but I only wear cheap ones for that reason. I, I think it's when I've been dipping my hat in one of the street, in one of the waterfalls. So yeah, they're gone, I'll have to squint all the way home. Nutrition and energy wise, I've been out three and a half hours and I've been hitting 60 to 80 grams of carbohydrate per hour, either through the gels or the liquids, I stick to that. Ideally I want to get that between 80 and 100 but the intensity wasn't too high today and I did the same thing yesterday so yeah I'm pretty confident that I can increase that over time, no rush there 
and I will keep you informed as training goes on. And yeah, if like I say, if you've got any questions about the route, about kit, about tactics going into the Dragon's Back, or you just want to know more about the area in Snowdonia, especially the north area, I don't know too much about down south, let me know in the comments, along with anything else you want me to cover. Because uh, yeah, although it is my training diary and I want the kids to watch it after the Dragon's Back, uh, it'd be interesting to hear your thoughts. Okay, that is today's training done and I will see you all next week.